One of the first to smash the atom was Dr. Ernest Lawrence of California, inventor of the cyclotron, the atom-smashing machine. With global war, the government stepped into the picture. General Groves, head of the project, teamed up with Vannevar Bush, government director of science and research, and with Dr. Richard Tolman, technological expert. Seeking for the best base material to carry the explosive atoms, hundreds of prospectors ranged the province of Alberta. Scientists made uncounted tests before deciding on uranium, which contained atoms easiest of all to crack. Two billion dollars went into research and plants, such as this one at Richland, Washington. One of the world's most closely guarded secrets, the atomic bomb process was developed in widely separated areas. Even the thousands of men and women working on the project had no idea of the staggering energy they were to release. Located at Oak Ridge, Tennessee, near TVA, one of our biggest sources of water power, is the largest of the three atomic bomb plants. Nearly 100,000 workers swarmed into Oak Ridge, which mushroomed into one of our largest war production communities, creating the fifth largest city in Tennessee. But the results justified the tremendous efforts. The great influx of atomic bomb producers called for thousands of prefabricated homes. Hundreds more families arrived, and failing to find other accommodations, set up housekeeping in trailer town. Merchants were quick to supply the demands of the sprawling war center, 